Hello, I'm Lewis Capaldi and this is my bonus iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat. They told me that you guys sent in so many questions, like an abundance of questions. Too much, que too many questions if anything. And they said, they, they asked me to answer some more and I'm going to do that. And I just want to say a massive thank you to Most Requested Live and Romeo for everything. And, and my new song is called Someone You Loved and it's out, it's out right now. Um, Sarah from Jersey City says, what was it like to be cradled by the Jonas Brothers? Now, I don't know if you've ever seen the Jonas Brothers, but their arms, their arms are like pythons, but pythons that maybe you like to give, uh, give you a big kiss in the middle of the night. Like pythons you wouldn't mind getting, pythons you wouldn't mind giving you a lick or getting, or getting, or wrapping around you and squeezing you so tight that you can't breathe and some sort of asphyxiation nonsense. But, um, that was, uh, it was lovely. It was probably everything I've ever dreamed of and more. And I think a lot of people might think that I asked to be cradled in the arms of George Brothers. But what it was, was we were actually in a picture and, and it was actually Nick who said, I think we have to, we have to hold you. And I said, Nick, I tried to play it cool, but I, I, I said, yeah, that'd be funny, but I just said, Nick, that would be the greatest thing ever. Thank you so much. That's what I actually said, uh, can't remember. But uh, yeah, to answer your question, it was better, it was better than being born. Anyway, so the next question is from Katie, from Katie, no it's not Katie from Katie, it's Katie from Hastings, Minnesota, and it says, can you go on a dating show, should I have a shot with you, like, come on, you can't be sexy, thank you, a good singer, thank you, funny, thank you, and have a banging bod, thank you, you're disturbing the natural order of the world, please marry me and take my last name. Um, Katie, I cannot go on a dating show, I'm a very busy guy. Uh, and second of all, I'm just enjoying. I mean, thanks again for noticing, for listing all those uh, those those kind of adjectives about me, sexy, funny, banging bod. And uh, look, I think as much as an nice person, I'm just I'm just I'm just trying my best to live day to day and have have a nice time. But I, I have to say, I won't be going on a date show, so we will probably never get we'll probably never meet each other and probably never get married. And uh, both of us will probably live full and happy life. Regardless, uh, so there you go, okay. Next up is Shannon from Glasgow, and she says, favorite meal and favorite dessert. My favorite meal would potentially be like maybe some sort of like I don't know, like maybe some like uh, I don't know, like a pizza, maybe a pizza. I'll just have a pizza, just a pizza. And my favorite dessert is 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 chocolate, but it has to be melted, and I have to eat it off. Of someone's body. Um, next is Lewis from Bristol, England, and he says, "When is Lewis going to do a song with the bagpipes?" The answer is never. Um, do not, do not reduce me to something of, of my culture. That's unacceptable. And uh, yeah, I won't be doing anything with the bagpipes anytime soon. Uh, not that I've got anything against them. I just don't want to use them in my music. Next up is Riley from Lima, Ohio, and says. What made you decide to be a vegetarian team is bacon? Uh, I wish I could tell you there was some massive ethical thing about animals, but it was actually, everyone on my tour was a vegetarian, so I thought, do you know what, I'm gonna be a vegetarian, I'm just gonna try it, and it'd be easy. And I didn't, I didn't miss meat at all, although having said that, I'm now eating meat again, because I'm, but hear me out, Riley from Lima, it's because I was, what I was doing was getting quite fat, because I was a veg, I was being vegetarian, but I was just eating pizza and fries and like crisps and like anything, like all the bad stuff and pasta and stuff like that. So what I'm doing to make sure to lose a bit of weight is I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to eat chicken for a little bit and I'm going to get my weight down to where it, where it was before I get balloon up to a size unheard of and I need to be moved around by a forklift. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to lose some weight and then I'm going to actually be a veggie, but I'm going to be veggie properly and, and not just um, pasta all the time. Anyway, Lindsay from Burlington, Massachusetts, do you have any guilty pleasures? Um, there's this one thing I like to do where I like to go to my pants, right? And I like to run around in the woods and I just go, I make this noise where I go, turn, 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 and I go, and I go, and I go, I'm a fair, I'm a forest princess. That's what I say. Uh, and that's just something I do as a guilty pleasure in my spare time. And the next one is from Carla from Ocala, Florida. Is that right? Flo Ocala, Florida? Ocala. Ocala. Ocala, Florida. And uh, 
She says, favourite One Direction member, and I think we can all agree, my favourite One Direction member, he is, he is a, a guy that, you know, I wanted to be friends with for a very long time, and, uh, you know, I've, al I've always been a such a big fan of his, and, you know, I was, I've been very lucky enough to kind of to kind of cross paths with him once, uh, and his name's Harry Styles. No, I'm kidding, my favourite member is Niall Horan of One Direction, and that's, I'm not just saying that because he's Bobby Pints in the past. This is from Lil, from Malaysia, and she says, Do you believe in psychic abilities, crystal powers, palm readings, horoscope readings, and tarot readings? No, is the answer, as in short, Lil. Although, for someone who doesn't believe in that stuff, right? I definitely read my horoscope every time I, I come across it in a newspaper. Every time I see it, I'll look at it. But that's the same thing as like, it's like on Instagram. If you see it, if you're scrolling through Instagram and you see like, if you see like, you know, a sort of a scantily clad lady, you go, that's oh, what's that? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like that's, I don't feel like that's who I am as a person, but it definitely catches my eye. <laughs> scantily clad ladies in horoscopes are like, I'm a kink. Um, anyway, so what was the sexual tension like between, between, oh, that's from George from Skipton. And he says, what was the sexual tension between you and the Jonas Brothers like? It was palpable. It was palpable. And uh, I think, uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't think, like in a three-on-one situation in any way, you wouldn't know, usually associate three guys against one guy as being a good thing. But in this case, oh, well, it would be lovely. Uh, <laughs> Nessa from Everett, Washington says, how do you come up with the lyrics? Because they're honestly like wow mind blowing thank you very much Nessa um, I just put them in a hat I just put cut, write a bunch of shit in a oh sorry I swore can I say, can I say shit oh well you can cut it uh, I write a bunch of stuff in a piece of paper and I put it on in a hat and then what I do is I put the hat and I, I, put, I pull all the ones that are in a bin and then I get the bin like this right? and then what I do is I put the bin out and I let the trash guys come and take it and then they take it away and then they crush it up in the bin glory thing and then they take it to the dump and then I go to the dump and I sift through the dump for, for seven months so I sift through the dump until I find what was my what were my lyrics and I piece them all together and that's how I write songs so there you go that's from Nessa and you're welcome Ella from London says what is your zodiac sign? It's a random question. Remember when we said about do you believe in psychic abilities and crystal powers and palm readings and horoscopes and all that stuff? It's the same thing for me with zodiac signs. Don't get them, don't believe in them. Uh, but I would be a Libra, but I don't think that has any effect on my personality. I don't think it makes any effect on me as a human being. Casman uh, from Seattle. How do you keep your voice from damaging from, with such difficult songs? Love meeting you in Seattle. Come back and we will write a ballad together. Thank you, Uh I just uh, hope for the best. Close my eyes and hope for the best, which is what I do uh, in most aspects of my life, uh, especially in between the sheets. I just close my eyes and, and I hope for the best. Uh, but yeah, so I just um, grip, my, grip my teeth and get on with it. But uh, I don't know. You do your warm ups. You do. You do some. You, you steam your voice. You try and on a plane. I use this thing called a nebulizer which is like a little mask, it's a little gas mask. And it's like, but it looks like a vape when you press a button, it makes loads of vape, shh, vapey bits, right? And I think people on the plane get a bit freaked out because it's smoke on a plane, not a good look. And but, but even to vape, even to vape, to vape full stop is not a good look, especially if those big plumes of dust. But um, what it is is I think because I have a mask on, like an oxygen mask, people think there's something wrong. So they don't, so they leave me alone. So if you want to get away, with the vaping on a plane, put a gas mask on it and just suck it, suck it in, suck it in deep. So that was the last question. I'm glad we ended on such a, you know, such a, a high end note there, which is uh, incidentally what I do when I get lonely and I can't get an end note. Uh, I just want to say thanks again for watching my bonus iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat with Romeo on Most Requested Live. My new song is called Someone You Love. Uh, it's out now, it's okay, it's fine, it's, well, it's a good song, uh, it was a big song in the UK, not over here, it's not yet, so it's fine. Uh, I'll see you all tour very soon, uh, sorry this was 14 minutes long, goodbye. Awesome.